I just dropped my son to school and I decided to like now do a little bit of exercise with my leg so even though I can't even though I'm walking there's not really that much pain the pain is like between the joints here and like right now I'm feeling a little bit like static not too much actually not too much little statics on my feet so when I take off this leg is fine I don't have any problem it's just when there's some sort of a pressure going through that side my left side I feel a little bit of pain so right now there's no really much how will I say that I don't have that much it's like control of this joint area like when I'm walking you know when you're walking your feet tend to go up and you know you put your heel on the floor first I don't know if you could sit on the, like this and you walk this one see like this and you walk this one the left side I could hardly do bring it up I feel like there's a tightness in this joint so when I'm walking I have to lift my leg and plant it so it's not like you see I, I still can't even demonstrate like this and put it let me do it. like this and then you walk pick it up and put it pick it up and put it this one I can't really lift my feet up that much so for now, what I'm going to do, um, one thing that I find that's sort of helpful to me, I don't know about other people because this, that sciatic nerve problem, I, I went online, I see tons and tons of people going through it. If I call my insurance people to let them know I'll be doing some crazy doctor appointments left and right. I didn't want any crazy bills coming to my, to me. So I was talking to the person on the other line. He tells me, oh, his mom and sister is going through it. I went to my doctor yesterday. I was, he recognized the sign. Well, he's a doctor, but he recognize, recognized the sign right away. And he tells me his mom is going through it. I went to the library the other day. So the librarian asked me how I was doing. And you know, I sort of told her I'm doing much better than before. She didn't know my situation. And then when I explained to her, she said she went through, she has that problem. And sometimes she can't even put her head down because the pain goes straight down to, from her spine all the way down to her leg. So this, tons and tons of people are going through it. So one thing that I'm having problem right now is lifting uh, my feet. See, to even put it up, it's a problem there's not that much pain but you know there is pain but that much control I mean like right here in this joint so one thing that I've been doing which seems to alleviate the pain and I tend to have a little bit control of is when I put this thing I really don't know where it came from I think it's one of my kids toy that broke and uh, I originally I had a, a little block that they have and I used it and my son asked me for it. He's like, don't put it between your toes. <laughs> and I found this, which seems a bit much better. Um, well, I did not find it. He gave it to me. He said, use this instead. So he took his toy and gave me this one. So I think it's one, from one of the toys that broke and he gave it to me. And actually, it's much better. Because um, it's round and smooth. So it's, you know, less stress on, on the, between my toes. So what I've been doing sometime when I'm sitting here, uh, doing whatever, I'll put my feet up. Usually not here, I have another chair like this. I'll sit across it and then I'll do minor movement like this. So when I have this between my toes, I feel, you know, there's something there that I could squeeze in. When there's nothing there, I can't really squeeze anything. You know, I don't have anything, any feeling to go by. You know what, I'm going to get the other chair because I can't really sit there if my back is bothering me when I do that. So I'm going to get the other chair and show you how I do it sometimes. So there's the other chair. 
let me adjust the camera to make sure it's looking exactly where I want. Let's put it here like that. And maybe I should point my... Let's do this instead. So I could point toward the uh, camera. So this is there for feeling only. Because when I do it like this, there's nothing to go by. So when I put this between my toes, I could squeeze something. I need to move the joint. If I don't do something with it, I might lose full control of it. So I had to do something. This is why sometimes you can't take things for granted. I have, see I still can't move my feet back up like this. See here, it's easy. See, this is the movement I want my, my left leg to be able to do, my feet to do. That. And I could hardly do it. It's not really painful, it's just that it can't come really back up that much. So when I have this, see going down, it's fine. It's the upside. I can't really do. So this is where the mind and muscle connection really have to come into play. It's like you think you're doing it, but when you look at your feet, it's not really doing exactly what you want to do. See, down is fine. And now trying to bring it up is a struggle. Again, there's no pain, really, that much pain coming up. When I look at it, I don't see it coming up like this. Okay, let's put it together so you can see. Okay, down is fine. Up. It, see, this one, the right one comes further. And this one is just stopped, like, right there. And I want it to come further up. See, I, I'm looking at it, and I still can do it. It stopped, like, halfway. I haven't been to the gym. I think right now it's like two weeks and a half. And uh, I've lost about 10 pounds. Last night when I weighed myself, I went up. I think I was 129.5, close to 30. So I've been posting that on my Instagram. And I share it on Facebook. So at least keep like a small diary of that. And uh, one thing I mentioned in one of my posts is that I will never know I was losing weight if I didn't have the habit of weighing myself every morning and at night. Not because I want to, well, when I want to lose weight, yes, it comes into play. But right now, I'm not doing any physical activities, nothing, and my weight was just went straight to 120 something and uh, if I wasn't weighing myself I would not know I was losing weight because I had no appetite and when I realized oh my god I'm 128 and I you know earlier in the year I did uh, do, I mean sometimes I do some crazy weight loss thing just for the fun of it and uh, usually when I try to lose weight it's between 128 and 130 so when I saw I was like 126, I was like, oh my God, I have to force myself to eat because I was in bed, I couldn't walk, I was in pain, I couldn't fix anything to eat until my husband comes home, he will fix something for me to eat. And I had no appetite whatsoever. So I forced myself to eat to at least maintain. I was trying to bring it up to 128 or 130. if. 135 is even better but I was keep forcing myself to eat and with no appetite and at one point I felt kind of sick 
from eating. That was the the time where I had, I, I think it's going to be in that video, I'm going to put all together. I post a, a shake. I don't know if I recorded or I just took picture of it. My last meal was the uh, whey protein with some uh, fruits and I put some, uh, I think, ensure in it and some stuff. And I felt sick afterward. And I was like, look, I'm not even going to bother to force myself to eat. I just want to make sure I, at least whatever weight that I am, at least maintain that, don't go below it. So from that point on, I've been around 126 to 128. And last night I was 129.5. So I didn't want to lose any more weight. So this is why it's good to weigh yourself. Because I did not know I was losing weight. And uh, I'm going to stand up later to show the difference between the two legs. My left leg have lost a lot of muscle tone because I did not use it much. See, it still can't come up. Okay, let's move it side to side. Uh, again, it's really, there's no pain there. It's just that you want it to move and it's not moving. See, when I do the inversion, inversion part of the leg, of the feet, it's okay, it went as far as I can, pretty far, but the inversion part, I can't even move it to the outside. So the two problems that I'm having is coming up this way, I forgot how to call this, plantar is down and whatever, dorsi is bring it back up, dorsi flexion. I'm having problem with that and the inversion part. Plantar is good, inversion is good, Eversion, no good. Oh, is no good. So it's two problems I'm having with the leg. Dorsi flexion and eversion. See, my mind is saying to turn it. It's not turning. I'm moving. It's like I'm moving. It's, this is it. This is what I want to do. And this one, this one is good not so good see I have to bend the knee slightly to bring it inversion is good inversion once I get to the cent central uh, center part of the leg to turn it further you see I can't do it I have to move my feet this way I don't want that I want this to go let's see there's this that this and that this not so good that good not so good so you see what i'm saying it's not like i'm trying to make up stuff i can't do it so i have to keep on trying a couple times a day to do it okay that's good enough for now i might come back later so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stand by the door and to show you my legs to see the difference between those two legs. So, I don't know if it's good enough. If you look at my legs, I did put a tight on the knee. This is my right side. There's no problem with this leg. This is my left side. And actually, once I look at the video, I'll definitely see which one has grown, which one has shrank. Well, not grown, but which one, if this one really shrank tremendously. So if I tighten my muscle, there it is, tight and relaxed. Tight and relaxed. So a couple movement I've been trying to do, things like this. Bring it down. See, this leg is doing most of the work. See, I have to hold on to something, otherwise, let me get something. You 
This is something I've used to do other type of exercise. So if I want to use one side, the left leg only. Let me move the sandal. So this is for balance purposes. This is the good leg. You see, when I was doing it before, this one was doing most of the work. That's how far I could bring it up. This leg. Really, there's absolutely no pain in that one. It's just that I can't do it. We can I have with the nerves, sort of mess it up completely. No pain whatsoever, but I can't bring it up. Okay. So it's something I have to keep on doing every day to bring it back to normal. This is where physical therapy comes into play. So yesterday when I spoke to my doctor, he gave me the steps in terms of for treatment. So the first thing he wanted to do was to see the x-ray of my spine, my lumbar spine. And after that he will see what needs to be done. Meanwhile, he prescribed me some pain medication. I hate to say it, I don't want people to follow me, but I did not even bother getting the pain medication because I've tried it while I was in really in pain. It did not work. So I'd rather stay with the pain instead of keep on putting medication in my system that is not gonna be working. So he prescribed me a couple, what is it? Oxycontin and some other stuff I've heard people get addicted to. It's not the reason why I'm not I didn't take it. I took it while I was in major pain. It did not work. So I'm not even going to bother getting it. So the first thing is to at least keep me uh, based on the doctor's terms. I may not put it exactly the way he said it. Um, is to put me in, to stabilize me to what is it, inflammation to be somewhat subdued or something like that, so I'm not in much pain. So once he see the uh, x-ray, it will determine if I need physical therapy or, how do you call this, that Chinese thing, um, acupuncture. In my mind, I already know I want the acupuncture because I could do some of the physical stuff myself because I know how to do certain things, so I'm not going to even waste my time to go to the physical therapist. And I've been going before, and the only reason I went, they have a machine at the end after I do a couple exercises and do stuff, and they used to put it in my lower back. It's like electrical stuff. I used to go mostly for that, not for the physical therapy movements that they made me do. So. In my mind, I'm already going to tell him I want to do the uh, acupuncture. Then after that, if things are not working, there's that uh, shot that they will give me to stop the inflammation. Uh, I forgot what they call it. It's like a steroid shot or something like that. So a lot of people that I spoke to, they said that works. So I would prefer that, even though I was trying to stay away from it. But that pain is to the top. I really don't want anybody to go to that. It's major. I was feeling the pain and I'm touching the area. I'm squeezing my muscle trying to you know alleviate the pain. It's like deep deep inside. You can't even touch it. Nothing works. So I really don't want to go through that again. Um, and then if that doesn't work and the spine is worse than that and the last step will be uh, surgery so I'm hoping there will be no surgery or possibly no more of that pain anymore so I don't really need to take the steroid but if I have to that's what I will do so right now I'll be doing some physical stuff myself as you can see I can't even bring my leg my feet up I can't even tiptoe in that's where I have my problem see when I do this is what I was doing sitting down bring it up 
which I do slightly. Let's try the left leg first. There it is. And up. Easy. Up, up. Inversion, and inversion. There it is. Plantar is okay. Dorsi, not so good. It's so red, your mind is saying, come up, and it stopped right there. Slightly parallel. Inversion, I mean, inversion is good. Inversion, not so good. I can't even turn it. It's like my feet is turning completely this way, but I want it to go like that. This, see? I can't. Up, I can't. Down, it's okay. So let's do this. Bring the heel up slightly. That's better. Not so good. Let's do this. See, my cracked a little bit. My balance is not so good. So, this is why you have to keep on doing stuff so the joint remain workable this one <laughs> I can't people would think I'm making this up it's simple movement let's see if I hold it with two hands this one two hands Easy. Up. This one. It comes up slightly and then I have to bring it back down. No balance whatsoever on that leg. Okay. So that's what I'll be doing. And we bought this over the, my husband actually bought this over the week, last week actually. Let's see. Last week I tried to do it, trying to stretch the body a little bit. The minute I did it, I felt the pain went straight down. One move and I just stopped. So let's see how it is now the main thing is is not to lose some mobility that I already have okay so there's no pain no pain whatsoever well a little bit on my lower back I couldn't do that last week no pain it's just you feel like you want to move it more and there's not that much movement okay so I'll do a couple of this later and I wanted to just record some of the thing I'll be doing so that's it took a lot of me <laughs>